Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyRoadAutomation.com. Welcome to another video for Test Project video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about Test Project's new Appium AI. So this is another breakthrough of Test Project team releasing the Test Project's artificial intelligence support in mobile app automation. And this was something we already talked in our earlier video where we talked about Test Project's artificial intelligence explained while we told you that Test project already supports mobile platform, but we didn't really see how it actually work. And in this video, we'll be talking about that. And once again, as we already know, test projects, AI capabilities, such as self-healing, adaptive weight, and automation assistant is already available in both web as well as for mobile app. So all the capabilities or all the rich features that we have on the web app is already available for the mobile app as well. So we can use all these three capabilities directly on our mobile app. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm gonna flip to my test project platform. All right, so this is my test project platform and I'm gonna create a new test this time, but not for the web app, rather I'm gonna be creating one for the mobile app. But for doing that, I'm actually gonna be opening up my Android studio so that I can actually use my virtual emulator to do that for me. So I'm just gonna open my AVD manager and I'm gonna choose this device. And once I do that, you can see that test project would have already recognized my emulator over here, which is quite good. So I'm just gonna choose mobile and hit next. And I'm gonna say AI YouTube test. I'm gonna say AI and I'm gonna choose Android and I'm gonna add a new application. So I'm gonna first connect my emulator, which I just spawned, and then I'm gonna find the application which I'm gonna be automating. Again, I'm gonna be automating the YouTube, so I'm just gonna be typing YouTube, and I'm gonna hit done, and I'm gonna hit next, and I'm gonna start recording. And once again, as we know, Test Project has got a new feature called file which is going to be coming pretty soon for the mobile app as well as of now it is supported for the browser based testing we'll be talking about this feature pretty soon but as of now let it be and i'm going to start recording and once i do that you can see that it is going to start preparing our emulator by installing the appium settings as you can see over here and once Appium setting is been installed within our emulator, then it is going to start opening the application that we have told it to open, which is nothing but our YouTube app. I'm going to hit yes, because it will make our application to be in pristine state. All right, the app is now launched. I'm going to start recording it. So I'm just going to do a usually normal recording, like clicking the trending, subscriptions, notifications, I'm gonna go back to the home and I'm gonna search for say execute automation and I'm gonna choose the first one and I think that's it. So I think as of now, this is fine for me and I'm pretty happy with the test which I'm doing. It looks all good. So let's try to run this test and let's see what's gonna basically happen. So at the moment, by default, the automation assistant is enabled for our test. And you can see that even if the step is kind of missing or if the application is taking too much of time for loading, the automation assistant will start looking for any better way to match the path or wait for the application to fully load. And it doesn't really tell you instantly that the application has not been launched or the identifier is not available. It's waiting and it's clicking each and every step. And as you can see that every time it is trying to self heal, if the AI element is kind of, uh, if the element is kind of missing and the AI comes into picture. And even if the application is slower, the test takes a time and it resolves element for us. And also the adaptive weight is kind of telling you that this particular stuff has taken an enormous amount of time and it waits for that. And you can see that the application actually took a bit more time than it is usually and you can see that it tells you the ai tells you that this particular trending button was not there and it waited for the trending button to be appeared but then it found out that the second option was all right so it went to that but actually it was the application's slow performance that what had actually made this particular trending to be not available but what we can do is we can just cancel this option 
and we can go over here and you can see that the AI self-healing came into picture instead we can actually increase the waiting time of our test which we can do by clicking on the settings over here and you can see that the adaptive weight is 1500 milliseconds but the recommended practice by the team is actually 45 seconds so I'm just gonna choose 45 just gonna hit that it doesn't matter how much you increase because the test is not going to wait for 45 milliseconds if it doesn't exist at all so it is recommended to use the 45 second and then we can go to this step and you can see that currently the adaptive weight is using the test default which is something but the 45 milliseconds which is all quite good and now if i try to run the same test you could see that the test has actually got passed even though the application was taking enormous amount of time to load and this is the power of the test projects adaptive weight and in order to understand how the self-healing actually works even in the mobile app as like the browser we can actually go to the subscription for example and then we can choose the subscription over here the element identifier and let's say i'm going to change the subscriptions to probably subscriptions to like subscriptions tool something like that and if i hit save you can see that i have actually broken this particular identifier to be identified and if I try running the test once again, you will see that the, the trending has been clicked, but subscriptions is not being clicked yet. The reason being we have actually broken the subscriptions identifier and it's waiting for the element to be self healed by the test projects AI. And you could see that it has actually found the way to identify the particular identifier and it clicked the subscription, click the notify notifications and then it is clicking the home and then it's gonna search for the execute automation. So basically the test projects AI has actually come into picture and it is telling you that this particular identifier has been identified using the second option, which is the android.widget.button of three instead of the subscription tool. What I'm gonna do is I'm just not gonna accept or confirm this yet. I'm just gonna hit cancel so that the existing thing will still remain the same. And I'm just going to close this test or probably I can go to the project over here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run this YouTube app test something like this using the agent that we have got which is nothing but the Windows agent and the emulator which is the emulator which I'm currently running and you will see this is my emulator which is where the test is going to be running and actually because it's an emulator it's not a real device and based upon my machine's performance, the speed of the device is actually slower than the physical device because physical devices are much, much faster. But yes, you could actually get the point that the other operations are quite faster than the normal way of doing it. All right, now you can see that the test has actually got passed and we got the report over here. So let's go to the report from here. And you can see that we have got the report. And you'll also see that the subscription was actually being handled using the auto healing option of test projects AI. And once I click this button there, it will tell you what has really happened. It tells you that it healed using this particular identifier because we didn't even confirm the change. And now this time while it ran, it actually changed that for us automatically without asking those changes. And then it also found that the original locator, this guy was actually being a crappy locator. And now if I go back to our test from here, and if I go to my test, and this time if I click the subscriptions, you will see that it has put the subscription tool to the bottom, to the next option, and it has took the Android widget button three as the first option, which is quite cool. So now the self-healing has found that this is the better way of going with it because this first identifier was a crappy one, and it is automatically putting things for us so that the next time the test runs it will be much faster than how it is right now so this is how the ai in the mobile app work as well and this is the exact same kind of capability which is available on the web and which is available on the appium based mobile app automation as well in test project so that's it guys once again thank you very much for watching this video hope you like this video and i hope we can really write a flakeless mobile app automation testing as well using test projects AI capability. Thank you.